Here we go. So contenders, dual box break at number two, 1144. Good for, uh, thanks guys for hanging out. And here's everybody up in it. And the uh, late night select is gone. <laughs> B money goes so. <laughs> We need something weird out of here. Come on. I feel like it's been way too long. All right, so two boxes of contenders, all yours in this dual box break. Thursday night, we're, we're teetering on Friday morning here on the East Coast. All right, let's get after it. So that late night select box is already gone. Thanks guys for filling that up. A little on demand breaking. Doesn't get any better than that, right? I thought it was gonna be Matt Hazel. It's not, it's Arthur Lynch, 100, I'm sorry, 188 out of 199. Arthur Lynch. short print or not I gotta see I always like looking yeah no problem buddy here's Taj Boyd and that might be a variation not sure I'll short print or not but Rice 1985 there you go brother and then you got a Rajon Neal going to Green Bay so so rare Rajon Neal I love contenders so much. When my brother was out here, we would, <laughs> so he was out here this past weekend. Um, and uh, I'll tell you what, dude, it was pretty fun, man. I haven't, I haven't cracked that many boxes in a, in a, probably a year or so. Like for ourselves, like we just went nuts, man. We, uh, we did some contenders. We were just cracking stuff open left and right, dude. It was a blast, so. EJ Gaines going to St. Louis. So is AD, I don't know if AD's still here or if anybody's on the uh on the East Coast, but is the weather still bad on the East Coast, or is it does that clear up? I don't know. It's just 80 out here every day, so I just uh, I get a little lost in, a little spoiled out here. AD, <laughs> how's the weather out there? Did it, did it flip for you? Here's 150 points. We'll random that off. Cold out there, huh? So we are still waiting, I think, one more on card. Yeah. Redemption auto thing yesterday. Oh, uh, was that, um, sorry, Pudge, I can get to that now. Um, were you talking about, uh, so you'll see players that are more prevalent uh, in the earlier stages before they've proven themselves as rookies. Uh, and then as the year progresses, their autographs, to obtain those autographs, it becomes more difficult and more expensive for, uh, for Tops and Panini to obtain those autographs. Um, here's Kevin Norwood.
Going to Seattle. So Seattle dropped way down there. Treasure Hound. There you go. Um, but yeah, so like, I mean, they obtain a good amount of autos uh, during the rookie premiere. So they'll get tops. Uh, they'll, they already have like Inception created. They have a couple other products already created. Uh, but they can't get too many products uh, during the rookie premiere because they haven't even put them in the unit. That's the first time they've been in the uniform yet. So 80 out of 199, Devontae Adams. Um, so, but as the year progresses, the, the, the autographs get more expensive. So, um, sometimes what, um, you know, Panini and Tops do is they also scout throughout the year. And I think the best example to, uh, to explain how the scouting works for, uh, Tops and Panini is that they'll go out and they'll, they'll get autographs from guys that they think are going to blow up. So it's just like, um, so what if the player was the scrub when they got the cards to sign, but then Beast time about to get the time to sign them? Will this be able to hold up? Um, yeah, so whenever they got the cards, whenever they initially got them, they got a lot of great autos. But you, you have to remember, they only created so many products in the beginning of the year. So yes, they can get a lot of autos, but they're going to be in those early products. Um, if they got the sticker autos they and they think that that player is going to blow up, They'll hold on to those sticker autos as well and uh, distribute them uh, throughout the year. But as far as like on card autos, like for the bigger products, man, and for the later year products, it's tough to get, um, you know, on card stuff from players that really blew up. Uh, so it, it's, it's a whole like speculation process as well. So. So I guess the, the, the factors are really when they created the product and when the player, you know, started to blow up. So uh, Bruce Ellington, I don't know. I, hopefully that answered your question, Paj. I don't know. It sounds like super easy in my head, but uh, that's me <laughs> trying to break 48 packs at the same time <laughs> and have a thought process, which I, you know what? Sometimes it doesn't happen. But uh, here's the second box of contenders for you, the dual break and number two. So we've got one more dual round of contenders. Sonoris Perry. And, man, I, I swear we're still waiting for the first on-card auto. Left-hand side is just a killer. just kind of hanging out man I don't know maybe they're watching I guess everybody might be waiting for tomorrow huh going to be Aaron Murray going to KC so T Beck 87 good to see you buddy nice little Aaron Murray on card auto for you <laughs> Ray 
Grey's Anatomy crew. And then you got rookie ticket RPS of Devontae Adams going to Green Bay. That'll be so rare. Here you go, buddy. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start with the right hand side next box. How about that? Then you got a Dar uh, Maurice Jones Drew, 108. Was that 103 out of 199? Maurice Jones Drew. Another KC hit. That's going to be D Ford, 73 out of 99. So 73 out of 99, D Ford. Going back to KC, T Beck, 87. You go, oh, that's right, dude. Bob, you hit a bunch of those uh, Steelers hits, didn't you? Didn't we pull a Super Bowl ticket? Maybe. Well, now you're giving us a goal, Pudge. Kyle Van Noy. I'll tell you what. No shortage of Kyle Van Noy. Avoid the Noy. Uh, there he is. Going to Detroit. 150 points or Kyle Van Noy. You uh, weigh out your options there. I'm just playing. But seriously. All right. So there's the second. Yeah, I think it was the first case. First case. All right. Let me rent him off this. 100% charge. Okay, good. All right. All right, once, twice, and three times. Number three overall, that'll be Chad I. There you go, buddy. Chad I got the uh, or gets the 150 points. All right, last round of the dual contenders. We're still waiting. We're still waiting for that good stuff. All right. 